Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be going over the importance of Under Armour and where to find it and my opinion on which is the best Under Armour. And I will mention a couple other ones that may be of use to you as well. And yeah, let's get into it here. So if I had to pick the best Under Armour, I would go with the Secret Service Armour. Just because of the stats that it has and the availability of it. It is very easy to obtain and it's arguably the best for damage resistance. Now also just keep in mind Under Armour doesn't work with Power Armour so I just wanted to point that out. And let's just see the Secret Service Under Armour here. You can see the damage resistance and the energy resistance and the radiation resistance that it makes here. Not to mention that it gives you an extra 20 plus carry weight with the shield it underlining, which I'm going to get into here as well. So to get the Secret Service Armour, you're going to need to come to Vault 79 and you will have had to have completed the Raider and the um, Foundations Quest. So Crater and Foundations Quests. Once you're done them, you'll be able to come over to this elevator here and you'll be able to come downstairs here and talk to regs and buy these plans with gold bullion. Now, I just want to point out too that it is very cheap as well. It's only 450 bullion for the shield at lining and the actual under armor. Keep in mind, you're going to want to have the shield at lining on any under armor. I don't know if there's any exceptions to that rule, but it's pretty much you know, a given that you're going to want the shield at lining on all of these under armors that I'm talking about. And just to point out too, like 450 bullion for the Secret Service is so cheap. You can get 300 from Smiley and not to mention your daily amount that you're allowed to get is 400. So with a couple of events and um, a couple of missions, you can get this Secret Service under armor. Now to go over some other ones that you get, like the vault jumpsuit that you get coming out of the vault, you can see that the stats are nowhere near the uh, Secret Service armor. So just, just pointing out that this may not be the best one for you. But it is an Under Armour nonetheless, maybe you want to start with it. I do want to talk about the road leathers and the raider leathers because these will probably be the best under armor if you're doing a sneak commando build because this under armor will up your intelligence or sorry your perception and your agility. And just want to point out too the raider and the road leathers don't make a difference if you buy the plans for the under armor it will apply to both of those um, under armors. So if you buy the mods for one of them it'll work with the other one. And just keeping in mind, you need to buy these in order. So the treat it lining, or sorry, the, let's say the resistant lining will not be available unless you get the treat it. And the protective will not be available unless you get the resistance. And the same goes with the shielded. Now for the Raider Under Armour, you can obtain the protective and the shielded by doing signal strength and other quests in the Savage Divide. Which is easier said than done. It's probably a very low chance that these will drop for you. So another nod to the the shield it or uh, to shield it uh, secret service armor. Another good under armor is Brotherhood fatigues that can easily be obtained. And you just come over here to the uh, Thunder Mountain power plant, and you're just going to come down the stairs here, and there should be some fatigues in the tent there at the bottom. If they're not, then you just simply go back to main menu, try a different server, and they should be there. This was the first time I I checked, and they were here. So I'm sure you will more than likely find them on your first try. Picking up a little bit of junk here that we need as well. <laughs> but yeah, they're in the corner over here. Right here. So like I said, if they're not there, then just hop servers and I'm sure they will be there. Now the linings for this Under Armour are a little bit easier to get. The resistant, the treat it, can be got, or you can get it from Brotherhood vendors. The protective lining is a guaranteed reward from Defiance Has Fallen. And the shield at lining can be obtained from Forbidden Knowledge and Breaking Radio Silence which is still a little bit easier to obtain than say the uh, Raider lining, the shield at Raider lining. Especially seeing that, you know, you it's harder to get the protective and the shield. You just have to complete a quest to get the protective lining for this. And as like I was saying, I wanted to point out again that all of these need to be learned in order. You cannot learn the protective until you learn the resistance and so on and so forth. I hope that makes it clear. If not, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to your question as soon as I can. 
Um, a must have for ranking up is the flannel shirt and jeans. And you can get the treat it resistant and protective lining from just going to free states and brotherhood vendors. Getting the shield at lining will require you to do queen of the hunt, which is a daily that I'm going to show. So it's a little bit harder to get the shield at lining for this under armor but it is a must if you're ranking up and even the protective lining will provide you with a little bit of extra intelligence and here i'm going to show the daily that you do which is queen of the hunt it's a pretty easy daily to do but it is a rare chance that re the reward for the shield at lining will drop keeping in mind you cannot learn that until you've gone to the vendors and bought the standard or sorry, the treat it, the resistant, and the protective. So just keep that in mind when you're going for these. If you're trying to get the lining, you will have to learn the other ones before you can find the other ones out there, if that makes sense. But with the Secret Service armor, you just have to go see regs, and you can buy the shielded. I wouldn't even bother buying the other ones because they're just not as good as the shielded armor or the shield at lining. I know this is a bit confusing, everybody. I hope I cleared this up as clear as I can. And uh, again, my top pick for the, the best Under Armors is the uh, Secret Service Under Armor. Let me know what your opinion is in the comments. Or again, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.